All right, so it's been a while since I've done an unboxing, and I'm excited because today I have my new mouse. It only took two weeks to get here, thanks to Amazon's shitty shipping method. Um, I ordered the Microsoft Wireless Laser 8000 or something like that. It's ridiculous. So uh, let's get this thing open. Set you down. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see here. Kind of hard to cut these boxes open. The dog's going nuts because I'm talking to myself. <coughs> ah. There we go. Hopefully the mouse is in here and not some. Uh... Oh great, the dog wants out. All right, you want out? You want out? Right in the middle of the unboxing, let the dog out. All right. So here we go. Amazon payment. Jeez, could they have got a smaller box? I mean, this like looks like they could have used a smaller box. I'm gonna set you down again. How the hell do I get this thing out? It's like wedged in the bottom. Uh, I have to grab a hold of the mouse. I'm just trying to get the damn box out of the box. All right, all right. So what I like about this mouse, <clears throat> all right. Now that I got everything, it's Bluetooth. It's full sized. I mean, I can't tell you how many fucking mice I've looked at that aren't full size. Now it's Bluetooth. It comes with a charger. Now that there's three pieces in here: the mouse, the charger, which plugs in the wall and a Bluetooth dongle, which I don't need because I have a Mac. And I read on Amazon people have gotten it to work on the Mac. They had to fiddle with it a little bit, but they got it to work. So here's to hoping for the best. Um, it comes with a rechargeable battery inside there. It uses one AA, which is pretty awesome, and I can put in my own rechargeable battery. Now I got this for 55 bucks shipped. And if you compare that to the BT600, which is made by Radtech, that thing was like 65 bucks after shipping, and I didn't feel like paying that much. All right, so let's get this thing open here. PC only, if you notice, so I'm not going to have any support should this thing not work. Uh, let's see here. They make this box weird as hell. Luckily, my scissors come apart. There we go. All right, how's this work? Try not to destroy the box. Easier said than done. What the hell? I don't know how this thing comes apart. This is ridiculous. They need instructions on how to take it apart. Okay, maybe this part comes up. I'm basically ripping things. I, I don't know how this comes apart. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, there's the single battery. If I can get it out of there. Is this a Microsoft battery? Oh no, Sanyo. Sanyo! 2100 mAh. Or 2000 milliamps, so that's not too bad. It's not bad. All right, let's get this damn mouse out of here. Here goes the receiver. Now I wonder if this acts as a, a normal Bluetooth receiver. That would be pretty cool because now I have another. Now I have a Bluetooth receiver. Okay, finally we're getting somewhere. Oh, and it's loose. All right, so this is wow. Well, this is a nice mouse. I mean, it's comfortable. The It's completely, I mean, you can use it as a left-hand mouse, right-hand mouse. It's got an on-off switch. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's get this open. My lack of nails doesn't help. 
Alright, is this wrapped in anything? No. Okay. No, let's see if I can get that. Alright. Now we gotta turn it on. I gotta make sure Bluetooth's on in my Mac. Alright, it's on and it's flashing red, so let's go here and add a device. Set up Bluetooth device. Mouse. I don't know how to pair this guy. I don't know if I gotta hit that button or what. No mice have been found. There, hit the button. It's glowing red. Which I don't know what that means. Maybe I have to hold it down. Oh, there it goes. It flashed green. It's flashing. Ah, oh, there it goes. Alright. Continue. Setting up Bluetooth mouse. Pairing with your mouse. Green and red. Congratulations. It says connection lost. Alright, now it's red again. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's moving. Alright, so I don't know why it's flashing red, but the mouse is definitely working. Do, do, do. I mean, I'm going to have to change with the settings to make it faster. I have Steer Mouse installed, which is a third party driver which will allow me to customize those side buttons. Because Microsoft doesn't. Excuse me while well, I let the dog back in. Microsoft doesn't give you the drivers because this is an unofficial like mod or whatever. You're not supposed to run this mouse on a Mac. So let me go grab a mouse pad for that. <clears throat> and we don't have a mouse pad here. Ah, screw it. Let's edit this out. Okay, let me see here if I can find something that might work as a mouse pad. Ah, part of the box. So, let's see here. I'm definitely going to have to turn that speed up. That's really odd. It's not showing that it's connected at all. Huh. Really odd. So let me go into Steer Mouse and see what this says. It says connection lost. Hopefully I don't have this problem over and over again because that would really suck, but time will tell. Come on. Can't get my scissors to go back together. All right, well, so this is the Microsoft Mouse 8000 wireless. I'll let you know if it actually works. Um, manufactured October 2007, so not exactly a new mouse, but it hasn't, you know, obviously it hasn't been opened. So that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll let you know uh, before I post it if this thing actually works. So, all right, thanks. Okay, well, it turns out I'm a big idiot because my... The battery that this came with, because this mouse is so old, I think it was just sitting in a warehouse for like years. Anyways, the battery was dead, so that's why it wasn't pairing correctly, and I took the battery out of my flip and put it in there. Flawless. Worked just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge it up and use it, I guess. I mean, I was a pretty big idiot trying to get it to pair with a battery that who knows how long had been sitting in there, so... We'll see how it goes, and uh, yeah, so it works just fine with Macs. So if you're looking for a full-size Bluetooth mouse, this is pretty nice. Um, the tracking is really good from the little bit I've used it compared to the Mighty Mouse. I mean, this thing's smooth, very smooth. It sits on the base like that, which is pretty cool because now I don't have to ever turn it off. I can just keep it plugged in. Um, people were complaining that it 
it would, you know, if you turn it off, you got to pair it again or something like that. Well, why do you have to turn it off? You got a charger, so you can just plug it in and be good to go. So I'm going to attach this video to the end of the first one I shot because I look like an idiot. But So now uh, I guess I'm going to play with this little Bluetooth guy and uh, see if it's an actual, just a standard Bluetooth thing instead of, it, unless it's a, um, you know, specific to this mouse. It's got the little pair button on there, so I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. All right, that's about it. Thanks.